Hello, and welcome back to Vintage PC. We have another graphics card review for you today with the HD 3850 by Sapphire. The card has 256MB of GDDR3 on a PCIe bus, with 320 stream processors and a memory bandwidth of 53GB a second on a 256-bit memory bus. It's got a core clock speed of 668MHz and a memory clock speed of 830MHz. The card's compatible with DX10 titles as well as OpenGL Spec 3.3. The card was released on the 19th of November 2007, around 11 years ago. As always, we have my AGP testbed which features the ASRock 4-core dual SATA 2 motherboard with 4GB of DDR2 and a quad-core Xtreme by Intel 6700 processor running at a near 3GHz. So without further ado, let's get into the benchmarks and see the performance. Now it should be noted that all benchmarks were run at 1280 by 1024 with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio at various settings for different benchmarks, which will all be noted on screen during their runtime.
So, in conclusion, after watching all this footage, you're probably wondering why? Why bother reviewing this? If you want to play esports games and free titles off the internet on a really aged computer and you've got virtually no money or no budget, in which case, buy one of these, you know, knock yourself out. You can play some Counter-Strike Source, play some Paladins, that kind of thing. You're only going to get 30 FPS, but you know, you can have fun and enjoy some games with your friends. But I mean, seriously, if you're still using a P4 Prescott in this day and age, then your CPU is definitely going to bottleneck before the card does. But anyway, I, I'm trying not to bash the card, but it, as a collector standpoint, yeah, it's nice to have. And other than that, I don't really see a purpose to own one of these. I mean, this is now going to probably sit on my shelf until I die, or until I decide to sell on my collection. But I digress. So, does it play esports titles? Yes, it does. Does it play storage games at high settings past 2010? No, it does not. I mean, if you want to have it for a period piece on a period machine based around 2005 to 2010 on DX9 titles, I'd highly recommend getting one, you know. It's $10, or £10, but I think I'm babbling on at this point. And if you watched this point, thank you very much. Hope it's been entertaining, if not a little dull. So if you like more content like this one, you can watch a video like this here. And for all of you guys who are really bored, why don't you write some comments about what I could have done better next time. So, in conclusion, have a good day, have a good time, and I'll catch you in the next one.